It's beginning to feel like fall of late, and that means it's time for pumpkin picking and trick-or-treating. This time of year, amidst the pandemic, has state officials also coming together to discuss what to do with Halloween. Halloween is outside and people are wearing masks, so it sounds like it's something that ought to be a doable. Doable is the term Governor Ned Lamont used to describe trick-or-treating this year. Those are encouraging words for would-be trick-or-treaters, but does that mean people will participate? Policymakers and the politicians, they can decide one thing, but ultimately if people don't feel comfortable about it, they're going to decide by turning their light off. Municipalities across the state are beginning to have discussions on the topic. From West Harvard to New Haven, talk are being had, but no official decisions have been made. The CDC released new guidelines for the fall season. They are calling these events, amongst some others, as low to moderate risk. Any events you can do with immediate family or outdoors are preferred. They listed door-to-door -door trick or treating as high risk, as well as any event that could put you in tight quarters with strangers. There's a lot of opportunity for people to get really creative with masks this year. So I think that every costume could have a coordinator mask and just ha really have some fun with it. Some creativity with a mask could help you win a virtual costume contest this year. Happy Days Costumes in Norwalk is adjusting to the times by offering appointment based shopping to give you a safe place to shop over 1000 costumes. Costume purchases and accessories and makeup and wigs and all that other stuff for sure. Owners say inquiries for the costumes begin picking up this time of year and will be at their peak in just a few weeks. They say the best way to make a winning costume from home is by getting the kids involved. They're all in, go for it, you know, and just really be creative with things that you have at home, things that you can find in stores that you have access to. Halloween isn't the only popular fall activity. The CDC lists orchards and pumpkin patches as moderate risk. They want to remind you to wash your hands or sanitize before touching anything and to make sure that you always bring your mask and stay socially distant. Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.